This is why I have trust issues with guests. I mean, guess is neat and all. After all, it's what used to be called invisible light, because no one knows what's actually burning. Except that, well, both asphyxiation and explosion happen far too often in ye olde Britannia. So what are the alternatives? The one more refined and clean energy to do many things including cooking. Enter electricity. I say et- Light with no flame, heat with no flame, and cook with no flame. Electricity is the purest form of energy. You can heat up and cool down your room and do many things with it, both powerful or elementary. And that's why after I rebuild this house, I will get this. This is Masfion S300, the simplest, cheapest, and most reliable of electric stoves. At least that's what I thought. Let's look into this bold red stove. This is exposed wire elements sitting on top of a ceramic holder, which works as heat spreader, so it will heat up the cookwares. Next is this knob, which no longer serves any function. You can guess why. As you might see, there is nothing between my hand, the cookware, and the element, so I will definitely can put my hand into the red hot and electrically alive heating element. Is it safe? Well, of course it's not. There are not only four alternatives of this style of cooktops. Let me give you some example from here. This is basically the same as exposed tin wire elements. The difference is that it actually has isolated circuit, which means while the element will be hot, it's also non-conductive. This is another one which also still common. Like the exposed thick elements, this hot plate model seems to be a successor of the thick element model. You can find this style of stove ranging from 70,000 and up to 170,000, about 5 euros to 8 euros. Yes, it's actually that cheap. There is also this style which uses ceramic glass top, but still basically using the same old heating element system. And this is the latest one, induction cooker. This one is sold for 500,000 or about 35 to 40 euros. This one is the most safest of them all because there is no element to heat up. There is only high frequency AC current that would make the iron metals vibrate so much that it heats up. So knowing all that, why the f*** did I get this electrical hazard that won't be certified to use in both the Kingdom of Wolfenland and the European Union? Simple, it's cheap and it works! And I don't have to worry about having to get the gas refilled before weekends when the store was closed. It's also very easy to fix, which is not surprising knowing it was basically a direct AC current going through the thin wire elements. So yeah, that's why.